Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord. For today's solemnity of St. Joseph, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we have a choice between two completely separate gospel stories. One in which Joseph refrains from doing the accepted or correct thing to do expressly what God has asked him to do. In the second, Jesus appears to be momentarily disobedient not doing the accepted or correct thing himself by staying close to his parents, only to point out to his worried parents that he was doing exactly what God had sent him to do. I'm sure in that moment, Joseph was able to recognize some of his own struggle in his son and in his son. These beautiful lessons of obedience, even in conflict, are echoed in the teachings of ben Benedict of Nursia, as explained by Sister Joan Chittister. She writes, it is easy to say, let God be the center of your life, do God's will, see God's will in the will of others for you. It is outrageous to say, even under the best conditions, that it will be easy. We cling to our own ways like snails to sea walls, inching along through life, hiding within ourselves, unconscious even of the nourishing power of the sea that is seeking to sweep us out into wider worlds. And all of that when the words that control us are good for us. What about when they are not? Benedict admits the situation. There are times when the words of those over us will not be good for us. The next step on the spiritual ladder, Benedict says, is the ability to persevere, even in the face of downright contradiction, because it is more right to be open to the word of God through others and have our enterprises fail sometimes than to be our own guide and have things turn out right. It is more right to be able to deal with the difficult things in life and grow from them than it is to have things work out well all the time and learn nothing from them at all. This is the degree of humility that calls for emotional stability, for holding on when things do not go our way, for withstanding the storms of life rather than having to flail and flail against the wind and as a result, lose the opportunity to control ourselves when there is nothing else in life that we can control. Today, let us ask ourselves, are we ready to heed God's wisdom, to listen to his voice in our hearts, even when it goes against what we think is the right thing to do? And follow into that blind space in faith and take a chance to listen and learn. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are those whose hunger only holiness can fill, for I say they shall 